use variation of parameters to solve the given system. So you are given the system and you ask to find a solution of this one using variation of parameters. So here's a guideline to solve this. So to use variation of parameters, first you need to find homogeneous solution, then you will find non-homogeneous solution and add them together. That gives you final answer. So I'm sure that you already learned this, this so I'm not going to spend time going over it, but I will walk you through it step by step for a specific problem. Okay, let's put this aside here. Now back to the problem. First, finding homogeneous solution. So I need to have a minus lambda i. Let's call this matrix A, and then subtract it with lambda. That gives me this matrix. Oh, and then find the determinant of a minus lambda i. That gives me this. Simplify this. Do a bunch of calculation. Set this equal to zero. I figure out that lambda equals two and one. So here's my eigenvalues. So for lambda equal two, plug it into a minus lambda i. That gives me this matrix augmented with zero. Okay. So use the second equation. That gives me k one equals k two. Choose k one one. Then vector k, then k two. Choose uh, choose what k1 equals 1 then k2 is 1 then vector k is 1 1 and vector x1 is 1 1 e to the 2t for lambda equals 1 plug it into a minus lambda i that gives me this matrix augmented with 0 and then use the first equation that gives me k1 equal to k2 choose k2 1 then k1 is 2 then vector k is 2 1 and vector x2 is 2 1 e to the t Okay, okay, so then your homogeneous solution is equal to C1 times vector x1 plus C2 times vector x2. Alright, so that is your homogeneous solution. Now, let's find out what non-homogeneous solution is. So similarly, like you have a minus lambda i, here you have phi of t, and what is it? So, ignore C1 and C2, so put the rest into a matrix, okay? So don't forget to have e to the 2t included in your vector. Don't just take the numbers, okay? And then you are going to find the determinant of phi t, which is e to the negative e to the 3t, and then phi is inverse, which is 1 over the determinant times a matrix, and this matrix is equal to, for upward diagonal line, you are going to multiply by a negative 1. For downward diagonal line, you are going to switch the positions Okay, so multiply and then multiply by one over the determinant that gives you this matrix. And then you are going to find u vector u prime, which is equal to inverse phi times f of t. What is f of t? f of t is whatever left over when you multiply by x vector x. Okay. So a little a, a, a note here: do not switch the order. I repeat this many, many times in my video because it's really important. If you switch the order, it will give you a different answer because this is a because this is because you multiply matrices together. It's not like you multiply number or variables together. So a times, for example, a times b is the same as b times a if you have a variables or a number but it's not the same when you have a mat when you multiply a matrix together okay so with this order multiply this these together it gives you this one simplify it you will get this one right and then if i integrating this one that gives me vector u of t in vector u of t is equal to this one so integrating this one it gives you this one now it's time to write our final answer which is this one so you have home non-homogeneous solution equals phi of t times u of t again multiply matrices together this is the correct order so do not switch the order please do not switch the order okay so multiply matrices together it gives you this okay and then your final solution is equal to homogeneous solution plus non-homogeneous solution which is this one okay that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time